Good afternoon, my name is David Lane. I'm with Bulldog Rooter. Today's date is July 26, 2017, and I'm about to perform a video inspection of the main line of 1502 South Maple Street here in Spokane, Washington. I'm called out today to uh, um, cable the line as well as do a video inspection. Um, Normally we like to push out to the uh, city sewer um, in this line, however, there's um, some offsets and um, some separations in the, in the clay tile pipe which are preventing me from getting all the way out to the city sewer with my camera. Um, the line is open. I am um, at an estimate approximately about I would say I'm less than five feet from the city sewer. Um, if you can see down down the, the center, I'm about I'm a 110 plus or minus feet from the home. Um, I did a locate 30 about 20 feet ago, um, and and this is where there's no there's no pass in this point. You'll see why here in a moment. Um, if you can see off in the in the distance of the pipe there. That separation there, I believe that's the last section, and then it's into the city sewer. So I would say we're within five feet of the city sewer, which is a good thing. Um, we're in clay tile pipe, and um, it's six inch. This this line actually is a shared line with 1438 South Maple. Um, the this the the house right next door um, to the north. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling back. I had to uh, uh, put on um, it's like a stilt on the end of my camera to get over some of them, to get over some of the offsets and uh, um, separations, and um, that's why what we look like we're a little bit off the ground. But as I pull back, you'll be able to see this joint here, and you can see the offset. So what happens is, is over time the ground settles. Um, and these these clay tile pipes are uh, laid down in two to five foot sections, and after, when the ground settles, um, the pipe just offsets. Um, this is not preventing the flow of water right now, which is which is um, good. You know, sometimes these offset stair step up, and we'll see some of those as we pull back. Um, I've cabled this line three times with a three inch cutting blade. There's another. Um, pretty substantial separation. Um, I've cabled this line three times with a three inch cutting blade, the largest we can fit down the four inch pipe. Um, and you, what we will see is uh, some root intrusions that just simply um, could not be reached with the three inch cutting blade in a in a uh, six inch line um, what I would recommend is uh to clean the the pipe near to new we have a, a jetter that you, we use water um, to clean the pipe you can see my swirl marks on my my blade there looking pretty good um, like I said the uh the jetter will clean the pipe near to new we use water high pressure water to to clean it. The bottom of the pipe is actually, um, with this still, it's a bit difficult to tell, but the bottom of the pipe is actually um, at the upper, up, upper part of the screen, I believe. And now it's shifting to the to the left hand side. We'll be able to tell by where the water is. All in all the pipe looks good. Um, there is a few joints that have um, some some uh, root intrusions. They are not going to cause uh, backups over time if they're not addressed. They will. But after uh, three cablings um, cut them down to, to workable um, amounts, that's for sure. There's some, I was 
was talking about there. The only way to really get that out is, like I said, with the with the jetter. That's been passed over three times with the cutting blade. That guy too is just barely hanging on there. And you can see you see the diameter of root there that's sticking out. That's a bit thicker than normal. Normally with the roots we see are like hair. Um, when the diameters start increasing, um, the difficulty of removal. See that? See that root right there? We just passed. The difficulty of removal intensifies. Continuing to pull back here. That guy's pretty thick there too, coming up out of the joint. I worked on that um, intrusion alone um, substantially. Probably raked it 10 plus times with the three inch cutting blade. It was substantially bigger, probably took up half the pipe. So great progress has been made in the line thus far. should be coming around the, I think this might be it, where the other line ties in, and I am right. So, once we get a better look at this, so, so the main line that we're working from sweeps off to the right, and 1438 ma main line is where we see those roots coming from. Um, that would probably have to be addressed from a clean out this root intrusion from a clean out in 1438 you can see the size of that uh, that root right there um, you know a little to the left of the center of the screen um, that guy um, pretty large you can see just remnant root debris as we pull back and this is solely um, excuse me, at 1502, this is solely their line now. Mine looks to be in great shape. Here's where we transfer from tile to cast iron. Cast iron stubs out from the house three to five feet. I'm working from the farthest um, upstream clean out available to get a full video inspection of the main line here. Coming up out of the clean out now. There's the clean out we're working from. Right inside this patch of wall here. Again, my name is David Lane. Today's date is July 26, 2017, and this will conclude your video inspection. Thank you for choosing Bulldog Rooter.